Requin87 and welcome back to Roll the Waves 3. And I have no doubt some of you are surprised as we are staring at the map screen and not at the start of the battle. Uh, now you may remember, uh, probably about two or three episodes ago, uh, where I managed to skip two years of game time because I uh, screen recorded the wrong screen. Well it turns out I've been somewhat of a silly sausage because uh, I've only gone and gosh darn diddly done it again. Uh, yeah, so the last four months and a couple of fun but strategically unimportant battles uh, weren't recorded. I've got the audios if anyone's really keen to listen to them, but it's just uh, a capture of all my uh, monitoring software on my other screen, which is really, really frustrating. Um, and no doubt you guys are frustrated as well. Because, like I said, you missed out on a pre, what I thought was a very fun 35 minute episode. Uh, we, we did some fun things. And um, yeah, I'm also frustrated because I thought I'd put a system in place that would protect me from such nonsense. Uh, but but I failed. So because what I had been doing is using this copy game function to create a backup of my save, and that way, if anything ever goes wrong, I've got a backup. Great plan. Sounds sounds uh, foolproof. Except what I was like, I got into habit of as soon as I finished a, a play session, I would save the game. I then create a backup copy in my kind of save slot number two, and then uh, away we go. So you can probably see the flaw in the system here. Uh, both my save points would be the end of a, a session. So when I s subsequently review the video footage and find out that it's ruined, uh, I have nothing that I can do about it because uh, all my backups are at the end of the recording. So that was a bit, a bit of a flawed system. So I've now implemented a suitable three save system. So I'll keep my, my gameplay file my backup then recording and a third backup which last which sits one episode behind live so that regardless of what happens and how much of a fool i am uh we'll always be able to uh, make sure you guys don't have a break in commentary so that's where we are so yes uh we are a few months further down the line than you started as i said we had a few minor scuffles with austro-hungary um uh, nothing of particular note happened i believe we sank I think it was two heavy cruisers and one light cruiser in, in a handful of different engagements, generally having to try and run them down because they weren't interested in a fight, uh, on one occasion where we ran away because we were heavily outnumbered. Uh, but overall, the strategic position hasn't really changed. Uh, we did get a, a couple more of our uh, light cruisers have come out, so the, the Triton and the uh, Proteo. And we're all on trade protection in the Mediterranean just to do our best to... to uh, defend against Austro-Hungarian raiders. And we also have our uh, destroyers have appeared. So we've now got 12 of these, which does remind me, one thing I was going to do, which I haven't done yet, was to put them into a couple of divisions, which is down here. So let's create ourselves a new division. This is going to be my destroyer division. Uh, fine, I'm not worried too much about naming. And, oh, that's interesting. Are you... Oh, no, you've got no ships yet. Now, if I wanted to add ships division, I'm just going to take the top six, I think. Very good. And I'll put another destroyed division of the other six. Uh, and that should, we should appear like so in battle. Now, can you assign divisions? No, we can't just move them around. A set role, though, you're going to be a uh, support, yes, and your lead division is going to, well, you can go against the battle division, how about that? Okay. Uh, that did not do what I wanted it to. I wondered if you could, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not staggers wrong, but have these sit underneath the, the actual divisions you want to support. So I create a kind of a larger uh, division whereby, you know, I, I preferably have my battle line accompanied by, oh, it's there, accompanied by a destroyer division. Okay, so it does work. You just, it doesn't show up here. Ah, excellent. That's what I want. Cool. Okay, so not guaranteed to happen, but now when my battle line appears, it should appear more often than not with a destroyer division supporting it. Ah, I like this, and you start to build out your OB, OB a little bit. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, I'll need some captains for that, but I'll just let, uh, let the AI fill those in. Uh, good, was there anything else? No, oh, there was one thing I wanted to talk about, uh, um, which we did have 
I say we, I had fun talking about previously, and, and you guys won't get to hear it. But it was, uh, and I found some information out about uh, blockade strength. So I was in this view of the Mediterranean, and many of you probably are aware of this already. Um, but as you see, so when we're looking at the, uh, the the ship number, so actually let's start. If we just if we mouse over it, you can see if I get the, the Mediterranean, uh, it tells you what ships the countries have there, and also gives them uh, a number. I, I, I don't. I suppose it's kind of like a fleet strength, maybe or size. I'm not exactly sure what to call that number, but we'll call it we'll call it strength. Why not fleet strength? Uh, in fact, yeah, we'll call it a strength. Um, anyway, so you can see here, we're 137, Austro-Hungary is 126. Um, so if we wanted to blockade them off these numbers, which is what I've been trying to use previously, 110% uh, of 126 is 138 point something. All right, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have enough in this instance anyway, just by a smidge. But... Previously, we looked at this and said we should have enough, but we're not blocking, blockading them. I don't understand what's going on. Well, it turns out in the more detailed view, if you click on the area, uh, you actually, as well as your own strength, you get a blockade strength here. Um, and I'm not 100% on the math to go to make this number, so any area I still need to double check. But here you can see that this 126 is less than this 137. Uh, it's actually 11 less, so could it just be not counting destroyers? I don't know. That's uh, That might be a little, little bit of a leap. Anyway, um, so we can, and that gives us a blockade strength. So then our, so for us to be able to blockade them, what we need is this number here, our blockade strength, to be 110% of the enemy strength. Not the enemy blockade strength, but the enemy strength as far as I understand it at the minute. Which is why on that kind of shortened view, sometimes it didn't feel like it made sense about when you're blockading and when you weren't. Um, so again, I still need to do a little bit of work to understand exactly how those two numbers are made up, but at least I know where to find the information to see when I should and should not be blockading the enemy, which is good to know. So yeah, I can discover that. Uh, and that is better. I think maybe we should just advance time and get ourselves into a bit of a scruff -up Um I'm trying to think if there's any other key tech what we got discovered. Uh, I think we got a sloped armor scheme for cruisers, and that was it actually. Uh, yeah, you can put some people in charge. Uh, someone, oh, absolutely. Well, yeah, okay. So I have no concerns with the fight beyond I think nothing is going to happen. Um, in fact, they may run away from us. Also, uh, as was commented by someone, I really need to make notes of who comments when I'm gonna um, reference them in a video. And uh, was evidenced in the, the recent fights is the engagement ranges for this time period is, are super, super um, narrow. Narrow? Short is a better word to describe it. Um, you know, I mean, I, I still have this fear of, of torpedoes, which is fair, but you've really got to get down to the kind of couple of thousand yard distance to really make a, make your guns do the work. And even then, it takes a lot of rounds to sink something. Um, like, say, in the last couple of engagements, which I did off camera or inadvertently off camera, uh, it was amazing the number of rounds it was taking to sink these heavy cruisers. Okay, we have got here a Schwarzenberg class, 20 knots, 8,000 tons. Uh, four, seven inch, eight, six inch, four inch belt. We've got our Infanta Maria. Uh, so he has double the number of seven inch guns. Uh, and then we've got some fives for secondaries. Same amount of belt. He's got about twice my size with Dinges here. So I would say we are thoroughly out shipped. Uh, so I probably don't want to do anything. Also early morning. So a long time until dusk. Uh, I think I just want to go home. Ah, uh, so what's interesting is when you get ships from your ally as part of the fight, you can use their ports to return to. Uh, when they're not in a fight, you can't. Which seems a little out of place. So I'm going to try and perhaps turn and run. And surprise, he isn't. Yeah, there he is giving chase. 
Okay. Uh, which direction do I want to go? It's a long way home. I don't think I'm going to get home. Hmm. I'm not going to outrun him. I'm not going to get home. We may have to fight this, even though I don't particularly want to. I'm potentially relying on a bit of torpedoes to get him to clear off. Hmm. I don't like having inferior ships. It's not generally where I find myself. But I do think our, even our new heavy cruisers are a bit lackluster. Okay. Let them close and then we may have to kind of turn towards and see if we can't scare them off. No hits yet. Again, I was talking about gunnery in this era. It's pretty rubbish. We'll let them close. And then we'll make a bit of a turn. Oh, we trade shots at the same time. We've managed to hit them with our 7 inch. Um, and we probably. Actually, it might be a 6, it might be hit there, medium. Or it might be a 7, I'm not sure if they. which uh, caliber you jump up to from medium to large. Hit our turret, didn't um, penetrate though. I'm going to wait till he essentially gets within the blue circle and then we're going to try a bit of a turn. Oh, another hit there. Credits, the thing is, good um, gunnery on your ship. We are outgunned two seven, uh, a dual 7 inch to a single 7 inch at the minute. Five inch hit. We're managing to hit them more than they're hitting us, which is a generally a good start to a naval engagement. Okay, now I think no, not yet. Soon. Okay, we're starting to hit. We could take hits from their light guns. Right now, I think we want to try and turn, so it'll slow us down a little bit. Okay, this is a reasonable angle. Uh, is this good enough to launch a torpedo? I, is he going to keep coming straight? I don't know. Again, I'm playing the rule that if I control the flag, or my flagship division is one where I'm allowed to fire torpedoes from. And no one else. I, I don't, I don't believe that, to be perfectly honest. Even at a slow speed. So I won't. Okay, this might prove more fruitful. Uh, in terms of the shots, we've been hit by... Oh, and penetrated our turret. That's a bad one. Turret destroyed. Oof. Okay, we are really up against... Our rear turret has just been destroyed. So running away is... Um, not going to yield us the result we want, because we'll be... Uh, wrong one. Um, unable to shoot back. I don't know what I'm doing, clicking madly. Really? Oh! Oh my, are we about to crash? I don't even know if you can really fire to be at this range, but... Sure. Why not? Basically, we poked them with it as they sailed past. Oh, we did it, and we actually did collide. Awesome. Well, not awesome, but interesting, I think is what I want to say. Okay, uh, well, let's see if we can hit him again as he sails around the other side. Yeah, have some of that, Schwarzenberg. How are we looking after our crash? Now, we hit it bow on, and we hit this there. So I don't know how well cl collisions are modelled, but you'd like to think... Um, oh, okay, he's a lot bigger than us, to be fair. But still, hitting a, a ship with your bow in their side, you're going to come out, out better. Oh! <laughs> have another one! Okay. Uh, have you got any more? Uh, I think you might have one more on that side. Uh, oh, it's forward and aft. So you've got an aft one, and you've got... Uh, so I need to get... I need to show him my rear. 
Okay. He should be going pretty slowly now after having taken two torpedoes. Let's do... Ah, uh, we're too far away, actually. Okay. I'm going to see if I can get out in front of him again. Now, oh, we're being raked a little bit by his gunnery, and it looks like our rudder's been hit. Okay. We're going to have to hang about where we sort this. Oh, he sunk. Beautiful. Okay, that was pretty uh, fortuitous. All credit to Captain Dinges and his uh, bold manoeuvring there to ram the enemy ship. And in that moment of panic, subsequent, uh, or simultaneously launch a torpedo. But, which, obviously, it was our bow torpedo. Do you think it would probably have done as much damage to us as it would have done to him? But anyway... We'll, we'll uh, put that one up to late 1800s naval uh, bravado. Huzzah. Okay, good. So that, uh, actually that was probably more fun than last, but that's the kind of scale of engagements we've really been having. Right, sounded out about negotiated peace. So I'm I'm getting to the point where I'm happy to kind of draw this war to a close and start move on a little bit with life, uh, look towards China and, and painting the map a little bit more with our flag. Um, I'm also conscious the longer the war drags on, the, the more other people benefit from high tensions as well. So other countries not fighting also get a boost to their um, monies. You see everyone will have elevated naval budgets at the minute. Uh, so I think I'm going to go middle of the road. I'm never really going to the bottom one unless I'm, we're struggling. But I think we'll go middle of the road, see if we can't get some money out of this. Here we go. Our peace is concluded by citing large territories and considerable war reps. Okay, now we're talking. None of this white peace nonsense we had with Germany. The day of victory. So, four points. Um, oh, no, six points. We have six points of, available. So I do have harsher peace deals on, which I think means you can go up to... Oh, is it 20? I can't remember. I think the base value is 10, harsher is 20. But... But don't quote me on that. Uh, harsher is definitely more, I can tell you that much. So if we wanted, and I can't look at that, we could take Dalmatia from Austria-Hungary. Do I want to take Dalmatia from Austria-Hungary? Not particularly. As much as I am interested in map painting, uh, my kind of vision for our uh, Spanish expansion is really around that big colonial empire and, and revitalizing the the kind of dying embers of the Spanish Empire, uh, and you know, getting places in Caribbean, Far East, uh, bolstering that rather than you know, Mary Nostrum around the Med. So I'm going to say not interested, and maybe let Italy pick it up if it wants. So we're just going to skip this. Um, so selected value zero, and it'll say all our points will be spent on economy. It does say it's a small increase, but it's actually a more well, unless things have changed in three, but I haven't seen any indication they have. It's um, a bigger benefit to your economy from taking the war reparations than it is from taking the land, especially uh, as time goes on and yet yeah, later in the 1900s, colonies get worth a lot less. Okay, so we'll take this. So um, I wonder if there's a... Yeah, we're going to see how yearly budget comes down anyway because of a war, but... Just have to take our word for it, that as a boost to our country. And it was exactly what we wanted from this fight. So we lost about 20,000 off our yearly budget, which isn't terrible. So uh, we can have a quick squiz at the Almanac, see how we're sitting. Okay, we're on par with Austria-Hungary. We're still, uh, like, not quite half. What's that? About 60% maybe-ish of Germany and France and the US. We're on parity with Japan now, give or take, they attempt some more. And yeah, okay, we're miles in front of China. And yeah, don't worry about equipment. So that, <clears throat> yeah, so we're still in the kind of, we're in the sea league here with Japan, China, Austria, Hungary, and ourselves. Uh, but I think a couple of good wars against the Far East parties, or, oh, I mean, look at the number of blooming battleships you've got there, France. That's uh, healthy. My only concern with going into Germany, France is the blockading aspect which we may struggle with. 
which is why I'm going to pick a Faris. But yeah, then we'll get up to kind of our, our B tier. Okay. Excellent. Uh, so let's go to our ships and service. Let all these fine gentlemen in the Mediterranean need to go, well, not all of them, most of them need to go onto reserve or even mothballed. Destroyers can probably get mothballed. I'm not too worried about their crew quality. Um, our light cruisers, these are our new light cruisers. We'll keep them on reserve fleet. We'll mothball the Glacia as useful as she has been. It's all about saving a little bit of money. Again, the older heavy cruisers. Let's all the way to mothball. Mm, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be worth it. We'll put the new heavy cruisers on reserve. So we are going to erode some of the uh, fleet capability here. Your crew quality is going to go down uh, to, I think it's good is as high as it can get on reserve. And then poor is all you can get a mothball. And then some of these we're going to get rid of. Well, let's get rid of the ones not in our main battle division. We'll stick them into mothball. Uh, or maybe just reserve. Something like that. Okay, and that leaves us 1.6 million a month spare. So we're, uh, my plan now is to build up a little bit of a fund, get to maybe... Oh, I don't know, 30 million or something like that. Uh, and then we're going to look to build a new line of battleships and probably retire some of these Donna Isabellas. And in the meantime, we're going to try and pick a fight with China. Excellent. Okay, nice little tidy war. 12 months, job done. I'm happy with that. Uh, we, I believe we're already expanding our docks, indeed, because I think we'd like to maybe build some of our battleships at home. What, what do we know about other people's battleship size? If we have a look at uh, German ships, they're coming in. Okay, still around about 11,000 ton mark is the, the kind of highest one there. Austro-Hungary, similar. Britain, they've gone up to maybe 12 and a half. Italy, about 11,000 tons. Tw France, 12 and a half. US, 12. Okay, so everyone's kind of there, thereabouts. But of course, these are the ones that have been built, not the ones which will be available in three years when ours actually roll off the uh, the keel. <sighs> so we may we may end up having getting these built abroad. All right, well, I don't I won't worry about it yet. We're gonna have a few months of building up our budget before we get to a place where we're ready to actually invest. Great Britain continues to be a, a fantastic technological partner. We're getting benefits to our fire control. Excellent. So I, I'm quite happy to keep Britain on side. We don't want to pick a fight with them yet. Maybe later on. We... <laughs> Sorry. Mocking my own confusion noises. Uh, Italy has... Oh, because I'm not Italy. I'm Spain. Italy has secured the Hainan territory as a concession from China. I thought we just had a piece of land there, but that was Italy. Uh, interesting. Interesting. I'll go look at where that is in a minute. During a coordination review, there's been a collision between one of our ships and a ship from Japan. Um, I'm okay to ratchet up attention a little bit. I don't really want a war with Japan. Because, oh, thank you very much, Britain. Oh, it's, it's, um, we don't share any sea zones, so fighting becomes a bit of a pain. Okay, but a nice armor, a nice fire control boost, and ones we don't have to build either, so everyone benefits. Ah, yes, you know, that's somewhere I wouldn't have minded taking. I wonder how you managed to get that. I don't think there was a war on. Nope. Oh, yeah, France and Britain are allied. Um, we, we're allied with Italy. Yeah, definitely don't want to tangle the combined Franco-British fleet right now. I would like bits of China, though. That would be a nice little boost to our economy. Uh, yeah, yeah, just AI, yeah, it's fine. I can always move people around later. Oh, thank you, Britain, again. Oh, rate of fire for double turrets, excellent. This has been one of the uh, biggest boons to our uh, fledgling 
career has been our uh, engagement with Britain here. Our security arrangement with Italy has expired. Oh, and 11 inch guns, although quality minus two. Now, this is interesting. This is very interesting because. Because friends can soon become enemies, and but what we need to look at over here is show me my invasion ranges. Yeah, so I can I can steal Formosa from China. I can't steal Hainan from Italy, but we could take it in peace deal. So Italy is definitely a potential target. What did we look like in the old almanac? Um, yeah, I wouldn't. Oh, I don't want to take their med holdings. We're not, we're not. We're not doing a med run. Uh, Almanac. What have you got, Italy? Okay, you have um, quite a lot of ironclads. Yeah, you're in that kind of B league. Quite a lot of heavy cruisers. Quite a lot of light cruisers. I'm sensing a theme here. And a handful of destroyers, but you're building a bunch more. Okay. Possible, but challenging. I think so. I'm going to flag that one as. And one where we'd have to be quite aggressive, I think, to to. Although no, we wouldn't. We we. Uh, I was talking about the blockade there, but we wouldn't be blockaded because we have Northern Europe. So actually, going against Italy is probably. I mean, obviously they could bring ships here, but they have no bases. It's probably um, more doable than say France because we can then pick and fight the pick and choose our fights and whittle away at their fleet over time, rather than needing to to race against time in the blockade and the building unrest. Awesome, all right, okay, I'll bear that in mind. So let's, with that in mind, let's say, okay, we're not going to spy in austria hungary anymore. Let's pick up someone else for a fight. Although we could fight them again, get war reps again. Sure, we'll spy in these three people. Good. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I really like that. Okay, there's a Chinese destroyer. Not much to write home about. Oh, and we can't... F now, see, we stop sharing with Britain and we don't know crap armour, we don't know lead out bursting charges. Turns out we were just copying from them the whole time and we are not on much on our own. Okay, Germany has secured Shanghai from China. What? Where's my concession? Okay, we don't know how to do a bigger dread dot, uh, destroyer, and we don't know how to make wireless telegraphy. Fine, how about the 17 million? Let's keep going a few more months. Uh, probably, probably towards the end of 19, uh, 19, 1898, we'll look to lay down a, a line of battleships. At. Yeah, that's fine. So, ah, we got our last light cruiser, lovely. We will probably find as well that our officer is doing frustrating things like getting promoted. So yeah, Ultimo Rocoroso has been promoted. Uh, that seems to be all right now. There's one downside of peace. People get promoted out of this. Lose their position. That's why we keep getting this pop-up message about officers. I'd probably just tick the box so it does it automatically because I just go and fix it when there's a war. A political murder in the Balkans. How do we want to handle it? Well, the world is incredibly peaceful right now, so let's demand the guilty are brought to justice, even at the risk of war. That's never ended badly, eh? Okay, a little bit of tensions there. But nothing too much to worry about. We should, oh, you've finished working up, which is good, because it now means you can... Um... can go on to probably rather fleet. Sorry, I got slightly thrown. I don't know why this has got an H beside it. Ah, I know why. Okay. So I believe what's happened is this has got one month worth of repairs, but because I've put this ship into mothball, the repairs have been halted. Uh, uh, yeah, do you know what? Go on to reserve fleet so you can actually finish being repaired and then we'll put you back onto mothball. There's no point in having a month worth of repairs at the start of war. New docks! Good news, everyone. Better torpedoes, oh, that's nice. 
Uh, and I'll, I'll probably keep building them. They're not particularly expensive. Well, that's a little bit expensive. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Oh, that's uh, that's never good news. Okay, Germany, Austria-Hungary have signed the line, so I don't really want to go to war with Austria-Hungary right now. I really want to go to war with China, but the games doesn't seem to be pushing me in said direction. The Prime Minister wants to reduce finance for the Navy and build a new palace and a luxury yacht. Uh, how about no? Come on, Navy League. How's the budget? Okay, we're not going to have to... Um, be careful, if you get over, I think it's something like if you have half your yearly budget in funds, the government can come and take some of the money away from you because you're not spending it. Right, we're, we're, I'm, I'm quite happy to pick a fight with Italy. I think it'd be a challenging fight, but one I feel like we could uh, we could take. Interesting enough, tensions didn't change with you. Okay, let's have a look. We're still 10 months away, but let's have a look with our ship design. What can we get away with for our battleship? You know, uh, you are calling them... Oh no, it's a pre-dreadnought. That's what we want. Okay, so we're into the... Yeah. <sighs> Caliber 9, quality minus 2, which is rubbish. And supposedly... Um, so, so I, I heard this on Tortuga Powers playthrough, and he actually picked up from... No name spore? I can't quite remember. Or maybe it's, it was Stealth Game. Anyway, it was another YouTuber. That um, ordinarily, when you refit a ship and you have better technology in terms of guns, you can replace the turret with new guns. And uh, and therefore, you can go from quality minus one to zero to minus one. And that's actually quite a significant improvement on an old ship. And usually pretty cost effective. So, ordinarily, a no brainer to do when you're refitting your ships. However, Apparently, you cannot upgrade quality minus two. So once you've built a ship with minus two guns, that's them for life. So these uh, ships that you're building now are going to have a much shorter lifespan than perhaps ones you build in the say 1920s or 30s, who can be refitted a lot more. So that's something to think about as we drop a chunk of money. Um, so yeah, these ships' lifespan may only be like oh, I don't know 20 years, and then they're going to be pretty much obsolete. Anyway, how do we feel about this? Um, I mean, it's okay. It's not much of a main arm, is it? I'd probably, I'd like, can we go bigger? I mean, we've got 12s. Why not use 12s? You know, if we're going to have large guns, they might as well poke a hole in something. And we've got 12,000 docks, so let's stick 12,000 displacement in. Uh, and yeah, this is our local yard. We could go. Wow, no one's got potato yard. We could go to Britain or Italy if we want to be slightly bigger, or France. Uh, and uh, do you have any better guns? You've quality zero tens. Okay. Uh, I don't want to. I'm at least too too much of a fight. Yeah, you don't have much in terms of big ones. Okay. And then we've got... We also have quality zero tens. Okay. Probably from our technology sharing agreement. So no one's got particularly better gunnery. Um, so unless we want to go bigger displacement, we may as well just build this at home. It will take an extra three months because it's like we have a 10% malice because our shipbuilding industry is rubbish. I don't think I want short range. Uh, I mean, I would like a faster ship, but I'm not sure I'm going to get one. Belt. Now, interesting. Let's have a look at... I'm going to have to get that screen back. But if we look at our existing... Uh, who are also 12 inches. So there you go. It's common calibre for our ships. Um, the armour for these. 11 and a half inch on our Royal Familia with a speed of 18 knots. So that's actually, we're probably building something very similar to this. Uh, with these guys, a 16 inch belt, which is... Yeah, that's, that's quite a lot. But only 16 knots. So we go back to our own design here. Are you short range? You are short range. Okay. I was going to say, I was wondering how you managed to afford. Even that, I'm not making it. 
11 and a half inches of belt. You are not cramped accommodation. I wonder where you've shaved. Can I open you at the same time? Will this work if I open design? <laughs> no. Okay, narrow belt. That's probably what's doing it. Built in Italy, short range. Okay. So oh, we've just lost the design. Okay, we'll have to start again. Design ship. At home, pre dreadnought, if you please. Twelve thousand. Uh, now there's a good question. Um, no. Do we want? I was going to say, do we want to build another round of battleships? What we really getting for it? I just feel the Reina Donna and Isabellas are poor. So if we upgrade them to essentially, looks like we're building another round of real familias, more or less. We're going to be, okay, we'll increase our speed to 18 knots. So it's a couple of knots, which is, okay, it's not nothing. And we are doubling our main armament. So yeah, it's an improvement. It's an improvement. I'm just a slight reluctant because we're going to drop a lot of money on something which is going to be a limited lifespan. But I guess everyone's ships right now are pretty rubbish. Okay, so let's see if we can stick that. Go up a little bit. What's our, we're going to go to 12s. Yes, we now we're we're getting to pretty close engagements. I think I'd rather keep the belt coverage normal and have slightly less thickness. Because either I feel like we're gonna be at fairly long range. It's just gonna be odd smatterings of shots, whereas we're actually engagement ranges tend to be in the kind of uh, you know, one, two, three thousand yard range anyway, in which case, well, you know, 10 or 11, even 12 inches, it's not really going to save us. What about 11s? Yeah, okay, now see, if we, if we, if we did 11 and a half inches, like we were previously, that would get you 2,000 yards against 11 inches, you'd be good. Hmm, but we can't really afford that. Uh, how can I? Right, well, I'm going to twiddle around. I'm going to spend more space than I've got. I would like yeah, and just a smidge more ammo. Uh, six inch, I think, is a good caliber. Although we do have. Oh no, it's 10 swoop quality in this one. That's fine. Maybe we'll drop them down to five aside, save a scooch of weight. No tertiaries. I don't think we have well, Do we want torpedoes? Yes, because these ships go crazy close. I think that's fine. Okay, and we're just a mere 700 tons to try and pull off. I think I'm going to have to keep the short range even though I don't particularly want to. And then we're just going to, have to probably steal some of its armour. Uh, if we went speed, would that help? Not really. We'll just go normal then. So my options are really to come down to 10 inches, uh, I don't really want to take it from a turret, it's conning tower, well we can steal some a little bit from there, sorry Capitanos. Um, yeah, okay, deck, deck extended, fine-ish. Maybe we can't go normal belt, maybe we do have to go narrow. Am I just about to build the same ship again? Well, I feel like I'm not even going to build one that's as good. Could go all the way up to 11 and a half inches. I mean, essentially I'm building the real Familia Mark II. Yeah, we can bring this down to, I don't know, two and a half or something, just shields. Well, they are six inches, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, we could do something like that. 
can I bump this up to kind of three inch? Actually, it'd be nice to get this all up to four. Okay, we can do that. Can I squeeze a little bit on here? Maybe. Do I want to? Do I care about having deck extended armor? I'm going to say no. As was pointed out, and we keep talking about the short engagement ranges in this era, you're not going to be hit on the deck that often. Because generally at those distances where you get plunging fire, everyone's woefully inaccurate. And we've got a little bit of armor covering the main bit. Okay, so if we do that. And what do I want? Can I go three inches in my upper deck? Yes. Could I maybe squeeze another half inch there? Or do I want a more armor? Armor up the turrets might be a better way of doing it. Because I don't want my turrets to explode. I usually like have my turrets thicker than my belt, but that's not going to happen here. Hmm. So we're definitely vulnerable. Oh, I can bring this down. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're definitely a little bit vulnerable, I think, in the turrets. Okay. We may just call this good enough. 11 half inch belt and narrow, narrow range, we are still short. It's still very marginal ships, but it's just the era, isn't it? Old ships, not very good. Who knew, who would have thought it? Uh, what do we want? Victoria, pre dread no, Let's go with some Victorian circular turrets. Why not? And then we've got a little bit of weight left. Maybe can we... Okay, we're squeezing that five rounds per main gun. And I think we're going to call that good enough. Okay, save and finish. Ship has narrow belt. Yes, I know. Short range. Yes, I know. Locker in. Oh, I forgot to check how much it was going to cost. Well, we'll find out in three months' time. And so I think the plan is going to be to build them. And I, to be honest, I'd like to retire my heavy, older ironclads, but I probably need to keep them around for blockade value, if nothing else. Upheaval in Angola. Free territory, sure. Or Germany. Hmm. Okay. I'm becoming a little bit of a nemesis here, Germany. Oh my god. So oh so Germany, Britain, and Italy are now in a uh no, Germany hang on. Germany is now allied to Austro-Hungary, Britain, and Italy. That's a that's that's a heck of a power block. Uh, Captain De Navio Capius seems to have overstrained the engines during a high-speed run. He's in a court for inquiry. Uh, so we can spend prestige, or we can cash him. I don't even know who he is. We don't know if he's any good. Let's get rid of him. Presumably, he's a speed enthusiast. Okay, uh, we don't need to rework Then let's just build some. So how much going? 40 million. So we can, we can afford one on hand with just the cash we've got. We can build comfortably three. We could probably make four work. Uh, Two million a month for 30 months. We got that in the pot in the bank? Yes. No, that would be 60. We're going to fall a little shy, but we'll finish building our docks, which will give us the, leg, the leeway we need. Lock her in. Nice. And we can put them in a division with the Real Familia, and we'll have a kind of 18 knot battle division as well and give them the other destroyers. And I think that should work relatively well. So that's essentially all our money for the next three years. Uh, a wild cruise is planned for young cadets. We will send new and powerful ships. Beautiful. Okay, so let's just, uh, just uh, before we close, draw these clothes, just double check. So Germany. Oh, they're not allied with Italy. I, I could have sworn it said they were... Uh, 
forming a lines. Must have mis must have misread. Okay, but they are allied to Austro Hungary and Britain. So don't tangle them. Maybe we'll just not spy in Austro Hungary. But we will have I'd pick a fight with Italy. I'd take that. I'd love China, to be perfectly honest. But the game does not seem to want me to have a war with China. But there we go. Okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, thanks for watching. I apologies about the minor mishap at the, the start, but we uh, we will have a process, so ne ne'er shall it happen again. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!